What's going on YouTube? JT is born here and welcome back to another edition of my DC Comic Reviews. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Task Force Z issue number six. Now, I'm pretty late to getting this video out. In fact, I'm pretty far behind on a couple of comic book reviews. So uh, between today, tomorrow, and then, I'm going to be catching up on some stuff. And that way, I'll be caught up with this week and then I'll be good to go. So a lot of stuff kind of happened and I got a little sidetracked. So, But now I'm playing catch up right now. So let's go ahead and talk about Task Force Z number six written by Matthew Rosenberg. Uh, this issue is kind of one of the origin. It delves into the origins of how Task Force Z uh, came to be a little bit. Uh, we find out like who's behind a lot of the shenanigans going on in this book uh, and some of the origins to it and like why things are the way they are. And we also kind of pick up after the events of the cliffhanger kind of ending with the previous issue with KG Beast uh, about to kill Jason Todd then Two-Face and everyone else kind of showed up. Uh, Batman shows up in this issue too, as you can see, based on the cover of this particular issue. And he has a confrontation with Jason kind of diving into some of the issues that they have going on. Uh, the thing that's kind of annoying with the Batman and Jason thing at this point, it's like they get closer and then they argue. They get closer and then they argue. They get closer and then they have like, a bit of conflict in here, because, you know, Jason is kind of one of Batman's, like, weak, point, weak points, like, he kind of turns the other head a little bit to some of the things that Jason does, rather than kind of bring him in, um, but now Jason's just kind of like, why, why can't you just trust me to do this thing, and Batman's just like, no, 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 and then they kind of fight and all that stuff, but, uh, yeah, so basically, we figure out some of the origins of this thing, how the Lazarus resin came to be, um, jerry powers at like this corporation and that they're going to try and market the lazarus resin to make a ton of money because this could revolutionize a bunch of stuff mr bloom doesn't like that he's not going to get a cut of the profits necessarily or uh the recognition and all sorts of other benefits to it and he decides to kind of blow up the lab and then of course we kind of flash forward like i said this thing jumps back and forth quite a bit to the point where i was a little confused when i was initially reading it um but yeah like i said jason get into the battle uh KG Beast ultimately is kind of killed off by the end of the thing, and then Two-Face kind of rescues Jason. So while they're doing their thing, Mr. Bloom's kind of doing his thing across town, um, just kind of like gathering the plan, and, or gathering all the information, putting his little plans together. Uh, Jason confronts Batman, who's trying to get him to like, you know, pull out of this mission, even though Batman was the one who kind of helped him like was his sort of in to the whole thing the two of them fight uh jason talks about how he's never going to measure up to the greatness that is like dick grayson um he'll never be good enough and just kind of a lot of things that he's kind of had in his chest because look he knows that bruce kind of sees dick as kind of like the highest standard of like the bat family but even jason just kind of like i'm never going to be good enough for you bruce uh but you got to trust me to do this thing and then batman ultimately kind of leaves him alone. Like I said, there's also a bunch of flash forwards and flash backwards. We see how Waller came involved in the whole thing. And then we see at the end of the issue that they're going to go after Mr. Bloom based on some of the stuff going on. So that's in essence like the issue in a nutshell. Um, like I said, it was written by Rosenberg. The art was by uh, Jack Herbert. Uh, in terms of this particular issue, I thought it was fine. Um, I'm not as invested in Task Force Z as I am the other Matthew Rosenberg book that he's doing at DC with DC vs. Vampires. That book has me really intrigued and excited with every single issue. This one, I'm just like, I still have, it still hasn't quite wowed me. I still think the idea of like a Task Force Z with zombies, yeah, they get some reasoning behind it about why they're doing it. It just, it just seems like an idea that's just going to fail from the start. They're kind of out of Lazarus Resin at this point, and it's not necessarily going so well for them and it just seems like it's just destined to fail and obviously like they showcase waller i believe she was in that like whole war for earth 3 crossover thing which i gotta go ahead and read the issues for that because like teen titans academy is one of the issues in that storyline so i'll have to talk about that before we get to the final issue because i've covered like every issue of that series um but yeah like i said this this particular issue i thought was fine the artwork was you know, like, it's decent, all things considered. The The strongest point of the issue is the confrontation between Jason and Batman because it kind of dives into some of their issues. That's where I had the strongest uh, emotional response to it. Um, but uh, the rest of it, I just thought it was kind of all right in general. Like I said, I'm not too into this particular Task Force Z storyline. Um, it's just not really doing it for me, engaging me as much as I kind of would have hoped at this point in the story. But who knows, maybe after this particular issue, things can kind of get a little bit stronger. Or maybe I'll like be more invested with the story going forward. Because Lazarus Resident is kind of a big deal across the DC universe. And we're seeing it kind of sprinkled out throughout a bunch of stories. So who knows where it'll all culminate in. So, yep. 
All right, well, that's all I got to say about this particular issue. I'm sorry I'm a little late to get to this review. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content, hit the bell for notifications. Uh, be sure to come back next time. I got to talk about Urban Legends, Batgirls, and then I also have to talk about, uh, was it Task or uh, Teen Titans Academy? I'll catch up on that at some point this week. So, yeah, look forward to that. All right, well, that's all I got to say. As always, take care now. Bye-bye then, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.